Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will explore a crucial topic, water pollution. We will discuss how industries treat their waste through effluent treatment plants and we will also cover some key methods for purifying water. Let's jump right in. First up, let's talk about water pollution. This occurs when harmful substances contaminate our water bodies like rivers, lakes and oceans. To manage this, industries use effluent treatment plants or ETPs to clean up their waste before it reaches the environment. The first stage is called uh, primary treatment where large solids and uh, particulate matter are removed through physical process like screening, sedimentation and flotation. Basically, this step removes the big stuff, suspended solids, oils and uh, grease. Next is uh, secondary treatment, which uh, focuses on breaking down the dissolved organic matter in the wastewater. This is done biologically using microorganisms. Here are a few key processes, the activated sludge process. In this process, microorganisms degrade organic pollutants in aeration tasks. Trickling filters, microorganisms grow on a rotating media to treat the wastewater. Sequential batch reactors or SBR. This treats the wastewater in batches combining aeration and sedimentation phases to clean it up. Lastly, we have tertiary treatment, which purifies the water even further by removing residual contaminants. This can involve uh, filtration, chemical treatments like uh, chlorination and advanced oxidation process that break down stubborn pollutants using highly reactive species. Now, Let's talk about how different industries manage their specific types of wastewater. Every industry produces different pollutants and uh, they require different treatment methods. For example, in the electroplating industry, the wastewater often contains harmful heavy metals like chromium and nickel, as well as acids and cyanides. To treat these industries, use methods like chemical precipitation to remove metals, ion exchange, and sometimes electrochemical methods to neutralize the acids. The textile industry produces uh, effluents with high levels of dyes, chemicals and uh, suspended solids. Treatment involves uh, physical methods like sedimentation to settle the solids, chemical treatments like oxidation and uh, neutralization and uh, biological methods like the activated sludge process to break down organic matter. Lastly, in the petrochemical industry. The effluent contains uh, hydrocarbons, phenols and other organic compounds. Here treatment process uh, include um, adsorption where pollutants are captured on the surface of materials like activated carbon and biological treatments to degrade the organic pollutants. Now that we have covered how industries manage their waste, let's move on to two common methods for purifying water, reverse osmosis or RO and ion exchange. First is reverse osmosis, RO. This method uses a semi-permeable um, membrane to separate contaminants from the water. High pressure forces water through the membrane, leaving impurities behind. The result, clean purified water on the other side. The second method is ion exchange, which is great for removing dissolved ions like calcium and magnesium from water. The water passes through a resin column that uh, swaps undesirable ions with more acceptable ones like sodium. This is commonly used to soften water. And that's it. We have covered water pollution how industries manage their effluents uh, through effluent treatment plants and uh, how we purify water with uh, techniques like reverse osmosis and ion exchange. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos on environmental topics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.